you have a musical background at all? Yeah, I, I played drums a little bit in church when I was when I was growing up, and um, from there, like I went in my I was in my sixth grade jazz band, and then it was funny because I like became obsessed with sports because you know like all your friends are playing sports and you want to play sports too, you know what I mean? So I was playing basketball in high school and a little bit in junior college, and um, you know my boy was from New York and he was the one that really kind of turned me on on how to break down bars with rappers and concepts and kind of appreciate a whole album instead of just a single. So from there, you know, I, I ended up getting an internship when I was 19, played basketball, and became a DJ a few years later. So, you know, I still do that. And, uh, yeah. Managing producers is not an easy task. Um, right. Do you feel like your musical background gives you any type of advantage <clears throat> over other managers? Yeah, I think um, I think that if you're not, I mean, there's different kinds of managers. You know, there are some managers that are good at connecting the dots, but they're not necessarily music people. And then you have people who are the other way around. I think that I'm kind of on, I straddle the fence on both sides. Um, so I don't think there's anything wrong with not being a music person as long as you're willing to recognize that you're not a music person. You know, sometimes you got non-music people that want to try to stir your creative work up, and you just like, man, like, you just like said you like this song, this is the worst song I ever heard in my life. So you kind of know who you're dealing with. You know, so I think that, I don't think it really gives me an advantage necessarily. I think just me being honest about what I'm good at is what gives me an 